Okay, today I will be taking apart the AMD ATI HD 4870 video card. The first thing you have to do is you have to unscrew all these screws. I'll point them out one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and there's also four screws that are holding the GPU heatsink. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. That's a better view. Okay. So let's take out the heatsink first. You need to use a small Phillips head screwdriver like this one right here. I prefer to unscrew it diagonally like this. Has some springs right here, like that are holding the screw. That kind of like acts to the tension. And then let's remove the bigger screws. That's the last screw. Then it should just come right off. Okay, just like that. Okay, to remove the heat sink. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight screws that you have to remove. Let's start with the first one. You need a small screwdriver to do this.
And there's another one that's hidden in there. Small screw. These three screws right here are holding the fan in place, the GPU fan. This one, two, three, three screws. So you gotta align it later when you reassemble it. Okay, now it's loose. Um, you could uh, apply thermal paste on it right there. I just put a drop right there and it just spread out to the heat sink right there. This contacts, this gets in contact with this. And uh, now let's take out the GPU uh, assembly. So it just comes out after you remove all the screws just like that I think this is metal I think this is made out of metal it feels like metal it looks like plastic but it's some kind of an alloy all right let's take out the now you could remove the heatsink completely and sometimes this thing could be filled with dust this these fins right here but I cleaned mine, so it's fairly clean. You can see right through it. Okay. And let's put it back together. Goes in just like that. So when you put it back together, make sure this thing isn't in this position. Make sure it's in this position. So you can snap it right in. Okay. So the important thing about this, taking it apart like this, is you can just clean everything. You can clean the heat sink assembly. So your graphics card stays cooler. So let's put it back together. Okay, let's align it. thing right here make sure it's not pinching it right, right there because there's a little notch that enables you to just snap it in without pinching the thing okay now that now it's a flush fit so let's put all the, I'm putting all the screws back in I like to start with this first. So that's a fan. So I want to screw the fan in first. I'll line it up and screw it in, basically.
don't tighten it too tightly. Just just make sure it's just firmly in there. That's all. Let's get this hidden screw. Oh. As for the little screwdriver, make sure it's long. Make sure it's long like this so you get enough torque so you can pull the screws out. Sometimes these screws are in really tightly. They're in really tight so if you use a small screwdriver like with only a length of let's say this much, it's going to be very hard to remove these screws because some of these screws are in, they're in, they're in tightly so gonna be hard to get it out if you don't have a if you don't have a long enough screwdriver. Okay, that's the last screw for that. Okay, just make sure all the screws are in there firmly. I'm going to align this uh, assembly to the graphics card just like that. Let's turn it over. And there are four holes right here. One, two, three, four. That aligns it to the assembly, the heating assembly. So I'm going to align that right now. aligned okay take the screwdriver and put all the screws back in Okay, the way I like to do it is like this, uh, put it at one end, like right there, and put another screw at the other end, like right there. That helps you align it better.
goes with the last screw for that. And now to put the last part in. This one's going to use a small screwdriver again. Just gonna put it in diagonally, diagonally again. Okay. Now when you screw it in, don't put it in too tightly, just, just make sure it's firmly in there. Okay, that's it. Okay, thanks for watching the video.